Hey, what is up everybody? I'm Star Lords, and today we're going to be doing something we haven't done for a while. It seems like it's been months since we've actually done it. Uh, but today I'm going to be unboxing two loot crates and uh, one of them is pretty much very awesome. It is actually, uh, we got the loot gaming crate which is pretty cool, I get them every month. And we also have the loot gears of war uh, loot crate edition I guess, uh, due to the new gears of war uh, kind of coming out. And that was awesome of those guys uh, uh, to hook me up over there at Loot Gaming or Loot Crate, I guess. So thank you very much for that. You guys are always awesome. Um, okay, so first of all, I'm going to unbox the uh, Loot Gaming one as I already checked it out. Because one of my friends got it before me and told me that there is something especially awesome in there. In which I'm actually wearing right now. Look at this, guys. Look at that. It is a Fallout Four, Fallout 3, I don't know, Fallout in general, uh, T, and I love the colors, uh, as you guys know, I don't really like black, and I was so happy that it actually wasn't a black T, I was like, thank the Lord Jesus Christ Almighty, uh, but let's get into unboxing Loot Gaming, and of course, as always guys, if you do want to purchase a Loot Gaming or a Loot Crate or a special edition Loot Crate, uh, there is a discount code in the description of my video, so make sure to use it, because it helps you guys, and it helps me too, so it's pretty awesome. Uh, so let's open this up. And Loot Gaming this month is, let's see, the theme is Battleground, and there is the pin right there. Let's hope that it focuses in. Let's try and do that. Come on, focus in for me, baby. Finally! Okay, so there is right there, guys. That is the, the pin for this month, and it's like a, a skull um, that's actually washed up on the beach. It kind of reminds me of Battlefield 1, which is pretty cool. Focus, there you go. Okay, we're off to a good start. Uh, the second item here, we have a Dead Rising 4 item, which it looks... It's pretty hefty. What is this? Uh, I haven't checked out everything inside of it. Oh, what's this? Okay, it's got some awesome little packaging with Dead Rising 4 on. And uh, this is one game I cannot wait to play. I love Dead Rising. Holy shit, that's kind of cool. What? It's like a Frank West uh, kind of tool uh, thing. You know the way you just kind of like... Uh, flip it open. I'm not good at these things, uh, but like, you know, you got the pliers, you got the pliers right there, uh, which is pretty cool. Holy shit. That's kind of cool, actually, because uh, you guys don't know, but I'm kind of like a handyman around the house. Uh, this one's a torch. There you go. Look at that. That's so cool. And then, of course, we have the blades that we can kill all the children at uh, for Halloween. Uh, so that's pretty cool, too. So Yep, yep, yep. Anyway, that looks pretty cool. I love it. It is very high quality in indeed. How do you put these things away after you... Oh, there you go. Just takes a bit of manpower. Oh, sh that, that's pretty handy. I've not actually got one of those. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll keep that in my toolkit. Um, next thing we have is a... Let's see. It looks like Battlezone 1980. It's a very old game. Kind of reminds me of Asteroids. I don't believe I played this game at all. It's a little bit too far back for me. Uh, and especially the gameplay. Ah, no! I dropped it! Okay, but first of all, we do have shot glasses, which my girlfriend will love very much. And has, like, the high score and stuff like that on it. That's pretty cool. Um, we can... You never have too many shot glasses, guys. That's, that's a true story. So, yeah. Let me just pop that one up. We got two of those, as always, with shot glasses. You know, they come in twos. Um, because drinking alone is pretty sad. Um, so, moving on, we do have a Gears of War item. I'm kind of confused whether this has ended up in this crate rather than the other one. I, I don't know. But let's open it up. Let's see what it is. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. So, I actually haven't opened all of these things up. And we have a Gears of War 4 Lancer. So, just look at that. Finally! Look what I've had to do to make it focus in! Why do you like this camera? Well, anyway, that looks pretty cool. Um, it's got all the blood on the chainsaw and everything like that. It feels pretty good. It feels like it's not breaking anytime soon as long as my son doesn't get hold of it. Um, and it also comes with an awesome little stand. You can actually put it uh, uh, on your desk or something like that. So that's pretty darn cool. I will... Oh, pardon me. I will do that with that one. So yeah. Um, moving on, we do have a Dark Souls comic. Um, it is a Loot Crate exclusive. It's called Legends of the Flame. Um, I don't really... Um, I'm not very much into Dark Souls. The game is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not that much into it. So we'll just skip away from that. And then we also have... Oh, this is kind of new. 
I've not seen them do this. Stop texting me in my Discord chat. Damn you. Oh, okay, we have like a poster. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Let's move on to the Gears of War 4 Loot Crate Edition. And uh, this one I've been especially excited about. Um, and this is my first time opening it up. So let's um, let's check it out. What is that? Oh, shit. Oh, oh it's a hoodie. No way. I've never had one of these before. It's a hoodie with JD Phoenix on the front. In Like, I know I said I don't like black, but considering it's a hoodie, it's a very nice light hoodie too. Um, very nice, especially for lounging about in. But look at that artwork, guys. It's like the paint splatter of JD on. Is that the front? Yeah, it is. No, it isn't. Oh, shit. What's on the front then? Oh, shit. Okay, we have the logo of the cogs um, on the front. Um, I would have preferred if JD was there, but still, that is pretty darn awesome. Um, and we also have the pockets, you know. So yeah, um, very much in love with that. Also, we do have another item of clothing, and it is a Gears of War t-shirt. Let's see. Oh shit, I've actually seen this one somewhere. I don't know where I've seen that, but that is very cool. Oh my, I would wear that. That is something I am definitely going to wear, because I love... That style, it's awesome, with the blue and the red. Oh, damn. I love it! Guys, this may just be my favorite loot crate of all time. Moving on, we do have a beanie. Let's just check this out, let's say, um, rip it open. Okay. And the beanie is blue, it's like a dark blue, kind of goes with this a little bit. And it does have the COG logo right there, but am I mistaken? Oh, I thought it had something different on the front too. Now, let's, let's kind of... Let's put this on. It feels a bit small, but uh, let's let's put the beanie on. Um, it doesn't have a big enough back for me to wear, I guess. Um, that just looks no, no. Let's not do that because my t my hair is terrible anyway. The girl at the bloody hairdressers cut it horrible. Um, again, we have more clothing, and this I love. Look at those. That's so awesome. It is only socks, but it's the small things like this that are just awesome. And uh, you can never go wrong with clothing, you know? I mean, when you get these crates, the clothing is probably one of the best things inside it. And uh, even if it's just socks, that's pretty cool. I love those. They're awesome. Uh, so they're kind of cool. Let's move on because we have some big stuff in here. This is like the biggest crate I've got yet. Moving on, we do have a pint glass. Oh, shit. And it has the Gears of War logo on it. That is very cool. I know I'll be using that. And it has, like, the Gears of War sticker at the bottom. Or is there a sticker? No, it's just a logo. Gears of War 2016 Microsoft. That is awesome. Very cool indeed. Put that there. Moving on, we do have the pin, which is amazing. Oh, my God. Look at that. It's just... It's the Lancer, but in gold. Let me try and focus in again. There you go, okay. I have to, like, cover the whole screen for it to focus in. Uh, but that is it. That is awesome. I will be putting that on that hoodie. Um, again, we have more stuff here. More pins! Damn, look at those! Guys, this is like the best crate ever. What the hell? Look at that. I'm sorry it's not focusing in again. Oh, there it is. Okay. I don't know what that logo is down here. I know that's the new swarm. That's the actual just logo. And that's the new cog people. I don't know what this is. Maybe that's something that you discover later on in the game. So I definitely won't go through that yet. Um, now we have something pretty big. These are all packaged very nicely, by the way. Great stuff, guys, at Loot Crate. You guys do an amazing job. Holy shit. It's like a, it's like a bigger Lancer than the one we got before. Look at that. What? Look at the size of that. The comparison is amazing. Dudes, dudes, look at that, oh my god, that is amazing, obviously it won't focus in, I guess, oh, there it is, okay, the detail is amazing, I love it, and it's got the wooden stock like in the new game, it's the Gears of War 4 Lancer, and it's got the tactical light, oh my god, that's pretty cool, I love that, that is definitely going right on top of my Xbox, um, and you do have the stands with it. Uh, the stands are not as flimsy as the other ones. I guess that was just like a prototype one and they decided to go with that for a different crate or something. 
Stop it, guys, on Discord. We also have a Welcome to Settlement 5. It's kind of like an introduction pack to Settlement 5 in Gears of War 4. It just kind of tells you about what you can find in the community. And uh, I like that very much. That's pretty darn cool. Um, moving on. We have another poster. This must be something new that Loot Crate's doing. Oh, I like it, but it is very blurry. Oh, no. That is very blurry. That is so unfortunate because that looks so nice. But it's very, very pixelated. Uh, and the last but not least, we do have a kind of metal art, wall art. And it is, again, just of uh, the amazing place that is the... Sanctuary place thing, I guess. I don't know. But guys, that is very awesome. I'm so happy with Luke Crate for sending me these out. Um, I told Doc. Doc is the actual guy who kind of like handles most of my stuff over there. I told him I love Gears of War and he hooked me up so great. And that is just amazing. Those guys at Luke Crate, if I could, if I lived closer to there, I would actually apply for a job there. It's They're just amazing what they do. Um, but guys, I am sorry that this one went on for a little bit longer than usual. Uh, like I said, it's just just kind of all the stuff and it's two unboxings you know uh, but thank you very much for watching i hope you have an amazing weekend and until next time i've been star lord oh see ya <laughs>